hi guys now in this video we are going to learn how to solve some equation by using octave right first of all we are for that first of all we are using this command pkg load symbolic command okay now let me move for octave first of all we need to give the command pkg Lord symbolic then it will load symbolic package in octave after that we need to create a variable called x why we are creating this variable now we are going to connect the octave and the python together we are need we are going to connect the octave and python and inside the python we are going to create a variable called x because our equations where we need to solve this x values therefore we are using this x then therefore we need to create a variable called x for that we are using this sys command then sys space x then it will create the connectivity with the python for that we need to wait for some times right then it will show the message python communication link active now we can use the solve function now we can use the solve function right for to solve this equation we have to use this solve functions there are two ways to use this solve functions i will show that two ways right in here i will use this x squared minus 13x equal 30 let you move for octave for that first method solve function within the bracket we need to type the equation for that x x to the power 2 x squared is parent by x to the power 2 then our equation is x squared minus 13x equal 30 therefore x to the power 2 then minus 13x 13x is represented by 13 multiplied by x 13 multiplied by x then equal 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 to 30 we are representing that one by using two equals equal equal 30 then we need to find the value of x for that we are putting a comma and passing the x now let me present then it will give the x values as 2 by 1 matrix then x can be minus 2 or x can be plus 15 then this is the first method next the second method we can assign this whole equation to a single variable i will take a variable called simple f and i will q assign this equation inside this variable f equal x to the power 2 then minus 13 multiplied by x 13 multiplied by x then equal equal to 30 then to check our equation is correct or not we can just press enter then we can see it will display our equation as x squared minus 13 next equal 30 or we can encrypt it by using a single quotation then if we press enter then it will encrypt 
now the whole equation is inside this f variable and now we can call again the solve function solve function then inside the solve function we can call this f variable because this f variable is the one which contain our equation then f comma what we need to find the values of x therefore we need to pass the x then the same output these are the two methods how to use the solve function in octave then the next step how to solve the simultaneous equations by using octave now in the second questions they have given two simultaneous equations in simultaneous equation the unknown values are the un, there are two unknown values in here x and y are the unknown values first of all we need to create two variables to hold that unknown values in python therefore again we have to call this sims command right let it start the second question then for that sims command space i will create a variable as x and i need it to create another variable also for that keep a space and type the next variable as y and press enter then it will create two variables inside the python then we can use solve function again we can use the solve function to solve the simultaneous equation uh, in here also we can use two methods the first method as previously solve function then inside the solve function let me type the first equation our first equation is what 3x plus 2y equal 36 3x plus 2y 3x that means 3 multiply by x plus 2 multiply by y then equal equal to third equal equal to 36 equal equal to 36 then we need to keep a comma keep a comma and again we need to type the next equation next equation next equation is 5x plus 4y equal 64 next equation is 5x 5 multiplied by x plus 4y 4 multiplied by y the answer is what 4y equal to 64 that means equal equal to 64 64 after that we need to find we need to put a comma and next we need to find what we need to find these two values x and y then as previously similarly we need to pass the x and we need to pass by putting a command y x comma y now let me run and check whether it is working or not there's an error in this function solve function now let me run right the function will run but the answers are not displaced because in here there are two values we are going we are finding two values right to hold these two values we should create an array in octave to create an array we are using square bracket inside the square bracket i will take two variables capital x to hold simple x value and put a comma and capital y to hold the simple uh, y value then i will call the solve function equal solve uh, and the function then let me press enter then it will display the answers 
सिंपल एक्स वैल्यू इज एट एंड कैपिटल वाई वैल्यू इज सिक्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट मेथड देन द सेकंड मेथड वी कैन यूज द सेकंड मेथड अगेन लेट वी कैन असाइन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन टू द फर्स्ट लेट आई विल टेक अ फर्स्ट सिंगल वेरिएबल एज एफ वन एफ वन इज इक्वल टू एंड आई विल असाइन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई एक्स प्लस टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वाई टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वाई दिस इज दिस टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वाई एंड दिस इज इक्वल इक्वल टू equal to thirty six, and I will at the end I will use a semicolon. Then I will take another variable as f two, and I will assign the next equation five multiply by x plus four multiply by four multiply by y. is equal equal to 64 and encrypt it by using a semicolon then again as similarly we have, we instead of we have to use we have to create an array we have to create an array and instead of typing these equations inside this solve function we can use this f1 and f2 variables f1 comma f2 f2 comma and we need to find what x and y in this f1 and x2 and we need to assign this whole equation to this array and let me present then the same output 8 and 6 this is the way how to solve equations in octave Thank you for listening and watching my videos.